start doing our Easter Bunny. This is so much fun. So I did a perfect square. I cast it on 35 stitches and this is a thick number 4 yarn, a worsted yarn and I am using size 8 US needles which is the same as 5 millimeters and I worked until I had a perfect square and if you fold it like that it's they're the same because all sides are the same so now this happens to be 8 inches so 8 inches by 8 inches so there we have it and now I am going to mark half this way and then half that way what I did is that I folded my piece and I marked half then I followed the stitch to the other side and that's half there and then I folded it this way and it's half there so I have three pins so right where the first pin is on your right hand side I am going to make make my yarn my needle very I have four strands of, of uh, thread here so I folded the thread four times because I need it to be very sturdy so now I take my pen off for the time being and I go up and down until I get to the other side And this is a tapestry needle, but you can use a prickly one too. So there we go, we go to the other side. I'm going to pin, put the pin back because I'm going to need it for later. There we go. And then go up and down to the other side where the other pin is. there we go and now I want to go straight into that pin so let me put some kind of mark I'll use a tape to guide me so let's see there okay so I'll just follow the tape There we go. Let's get this out of the way because it got stuck. Okay. So I'll follow the tape all the way to the middle pin. There we go. And now I can take that off. And I, now I have to go to the other pin. Let's get this this way. And so I can have a guide. Some tricks that you learn from other people. It is so good when you see other videos because you learn stuff that you can then apply to other things. Okay, so now I got all the way to the other pin and take off the pins you don't need them any longer and then very gently you're going to start gathering all the very gently very gently 
this has to be gathered also so we're almost there be very gentle with it because you don't want to break your your thread okay we're there there we are and so before you close it see you're almost there we're almost there see it it's getting it's getting its shape so when it's it's as gathered as it is going to get, there's a void in there and you put fiber fill into there so that we can fill the face. Let's see. I don't think it needs too much. Let's see how it looks. We used to have a rabbit when I was little. And its name was Domino. Like dominoes, like the game. I think that's, let's see, let's put a little bit more. I guess that, yeah, I think he looks nice now. So let's tighten this up. with the fiber fill in there tighten it as much as you can let's see I think it needs a little bit more okay I think that's going to be enough so now of course we need to secure it so it doesn't go anywhere There we go. And you're going to secure it with the other side with the where the yarn starts. Secure it with the other side. Do it without hurry because uh, you really want to have this nicely done. So that's why I stop my camera so I don't so I can do it without having you to wait. So there's a knot and I'll have another knot there. There we go, so see? <laughs> We're starting to see our bunny domino. So isn't he cute? Okay, so now we have to make the eye sockets like right there okay so let's make Domino's eye sockets so I'm passing my yarn from the back to more or less when I where I think the eye should be so this is not science it's calculation okay I think that would be okay and pass the yarn from the needle from one side to the other of the head so let's see let's squeeze this and I think it should be like the other eye should be like there let's see yeah I think that's okay okay so pass it to the other side and we're going to go back and forth see how cute that is looking oh so one from one side to the other okay where is it it's right there okay so I pass from this side to the other several times because you want to secure the eyes in place 
the sockets so back and forth a few times I think that's the space so just a few times to secure the space so I think that is okay all right so now I want to secure my thread there because I do not want it my work to loosen so I'm going to make a little knot there okay so <laughs> he's looking so cute now it needs a chin tuck I do too but it's not as easy as this one I wish it was but okay so I go more or less in the middle there we go and now I'm going to give it a chin tuck there we go so maybe I can bring this to one eye socket there we go and then I can bring it back and take it to the other eye socket I'm not sure what I'm going to be putting as far as eyes but I'll find something and then bring it back there we go see <laughs> it's so cute okay so now I want to secure my thread there and now I want to sew this part of the body so let's go do that so I am going to be closing this part of the body and I'm going from one side to the other so from here to here and there we go take your time no hurry so what I'm doing is going from knot to knot there we go and this is the way I usually sew everything that uh, has sides so that the seam doesn't show So I will go all the way to the end and then we have to give it a little bit of plastic surgery to the ears because we want them kind of standing up and with a little fold. So I'll be back. See how pretty that looks. So what I'm doing now is that I am going up and down the bottom of the rabbit and I put fiber fill in there see but since I want something kind of flat so that he can stand I found a cap from something that I had in the kitchen and more or less the size that I want the bottom to be it really doesn't have to be anything special and just close it kind of center it and close it real tight let's see and secure it in place okay 
make a couple of knots there. Let's see. So see like that it stands in place. There we go. And now, see? I hope. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, you're not standing. Why? So there you go. Whoops. It's supposed to. I think it needs something bigger. Probably. No, it's because it'll work. Okay, so now let's fix the ears and put some eyes and a nose and I'll be back. So now we need to shape its ears. I'm going to tuck all this in and make sure it's closed. But it, I can do it at the end after I tuck its ears. So I'm going to make a little knot there to fix my thread. This time I only have two. So now I go to one side of the ear and I'm going to kind of tuck the middle to the front and go from this side to the middle and to the other side of the ear. So there we have it. We kind of tuck it in there and then we come back a few times, maybe two or three times is enough. So there. Let's do one more. To the other side. And see how cute that is. Oh. Okay, let's do the other ear. So secure this. And go to the other ear. And then I tuck in more or less the middle and I bring the other side to the front so there we have it so I have one side the middle and the other side so there we go one side the middle and the front So let's do that again, the middle and the other side and then I want to secure that and I want to sew that little void where you put your, uh, oops, my thread got stuck. I want to secure all this and kind of put these two ears together. So that the polyfill doesn't come out. Especially if it's going to be for a child, you don't want the child to get a hold of the stuffing. nice and tucked in and make a knot there. So there we have it. See, that's my my little domino. My little rabbit. Isn't it? Isn't he cute? So I need to put the eyes and the little mouth there and I'll be back to show you how it looks. And uh, thank you for watching. Share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe. 
Isn't he cute? Oh, okay. See you. Thank you. Final touches. I put two buttons for the eyes. I embroidered a little mouth right there. And I placed a little ribbon. And now I am... This is a pom-pom that I had for some kind of project that I... So I bought it at the hobby store. So I'm just going to attach this. And that's it. Latest touches. Just attach the little tail. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Okay, it has a pink ribbon, but I guess bunnies can use any kind of color ribbon or any anyone can do that anyway so thank you bye bye